Well, we feel like we're right on the right path. You know, our internal polls show me tied for first. So, you know, a lot of the polls that you see in the newspapers are robo polls. They're small samples. They're not verified by a professional interview. Ours was done professional interviewers, 500 person sample, a nationally recognized polling firm. We feel very comfortable with our strategy where we sit today. And in the end, it really polls are irrelevant. It's who actually gets out and votes on election day. We know statistically, usually a smaller number vote, maybe 25% of those eligible. So it's all about getting people out to the polls that you know um, believe that you're going to make a difference. And, and I think um, the other big number right now as of today is still a lot of undecided voters. So our focus and plan will be to reach out to those folks and give them a compelling reason why, why I'm the right guy to be the next governor. And, and we've saved a lot of our resources, the, actually the majority of our resources for the final nine days. So what is your difference? I mean, we have a field of <coughs> right. Republican candidates. They're all, you know, pretty much in the same boat on a lot of the issues. Right. What is your difference? Well, what sets me apart is I'm the only one that's actually done all the stuff that needs to be done. I was a leader in the Senate in the 90s when we cut a billion out of the budget without raising taxes. We went from being one of the worst states in America to grow business to one of the top three. We changed the dynamics. We reformed education, reformed property taxes, started fixing our roads. And in those times, I chaired education. I chaired road transportation funding. So I was a leader in the process. I was a leader on the issues. And when we actually got it done, so I know what to do because for me, it's kind of been there, done that. And I'm the only one that's run a very large government organization as a CEO for over a decade with over 1,200 employees. I run one of the nation's largest police agencies. So, you know, I've been a CEO. I've been a legislative leader that knows how to move that process, which is critically important. Our current governor, who was a prosecutor, and then the attorney general has said that that experience didn't lend itself to moving the legislature. Having not been a legislator has been a problem for her. Well, we don't have time for another governor with training wheels because the building's on fire. So I'm the only one that really knows what to do as a legislative leader, has been a CEO, and owns small businesses. So on the first day, I can sit in that chair and make some very tough decisions and know how to move the system in the process. Um, would that make you establishment? Because right now, incumbents and establishment politicians are right. very much in that. But no, I'm not. Segment of the, you know, no, I'm not, I'm not the establishment because I'm not there now and I haven't been there for a number of years. I left the legislature voluntarily, not because term limits forced me out. I still could have served almost four years in the Senate and I could have served six years in the House. But I left to come back to law enforcement, which was my, my um, love, if you will, and has uh, continued to be a love of my life. I love law enforcement. And it's not that I want to leave that job, I just feel very strongly we need to fix these problems. And I feel very strongly that I have the skill set to do that. So, you know, it's kind of like having somebody called back into the game, you know, that, that's been away from the game for a while because they've, they've won before.